All right, there's a $700 check. $700, okay? Done. Now it was January. Danielle Linton. Okay. That's $700. That was, uh, that was in January. Okay, then we got February 24th. We have... 513.09 to Danielle Linton. Okay. Then we have 513.09 to Linton East Coast. And the 1309 is actually just fees from our bank. It's We actually gave her 500, so I'm just being honest about that. We gave her 500, and the bank charges 1309 fees. That's why the number's so weird. Uh, five, oh, this one is uh, Danielle Linton. This one's through PayPal. This one is 500, and the PayPal fee brought it up to 514.75. All right, so this is, oh, there's another one. This is all money that we've given. Okay, this one says, this one has a note on it. Says rent storage fees for keeping our stuff in Ellie's house. $514. So it is, um, it's evening. Well, how, do you know what time it is? Okay, so it's 730 and I just decided to make this video because I wanted people to see what the house, why, why we have had trouble living in this house. I'll say that. Well, none of this works. So, this, no, the electricity doesn't work through more than half of the house. Um, well, since this, we've been here, we replaced, we, you know, Darren replaced the electrical box outside yeah so then when we did that you can't hook all, up all these old wires and you can't replace these old wires you can't just drag them through the wall I mean you literally have to so gut the wall you have to take all this off to get to it pretty yeah. much so, the so kitchen there's light no don't work. there's no power to the kitchen light um or the, outlet. the outlets look like this Okay, this is the outlets in this house. Um, well, for some reason, I guess the refrigerator wire might be new. We These, these are newer, I'm guessing, because they work. These two outlets work. So we have uh, lights plugged in. Um, most of the power that we're getting is run through extension cords. And... That that trips the breaker all when the you time. Go into the living room. None of this works. Like no nothing. Outlets in there is no electricity. Um, no. I lights. wish we had a flashlight so you could at least. I mean, it's very dark, but this is what the house looks like. I mean, this is the house. This is. There is no working electricity in the living room. There's the light doesn't work. That electricity doesn't well, work. Well, there is one plug right here that works. Like oh, that's the one that on we run wall. extension cords off of. Well, it's not working now for some reason. It <laughs> was working. It was working before we left. Now it's not working. But that one that we that Darren hooked up in the new box, that one works. And we have an extension cord going to the living room. So the only yeah, the only power that is in the house right now is from an extension cord run so that we can you know watch TV and edit videos. And we have a very long power cord right here. And I'm, like, I'm, I just want you guys to understand how dark it is in here. We'll I'm not, it. I'm not trying to, to light up the situation in any way because it can't be lit up. We're once it, well, once we don't it hits. Have a light right now. <laughs> yeah, if we're if we uh, if we don't have a lamp plugged in from an extension cord, we there is there is no power. So. Um, the bathroom. The bathroom's light, actually good. Thankfully, the bathroom is actually good. Um, it has a working plug. The lights work. Uh, it's. I would say the bathroom's the best room of the house. And then you got the two bedrooms that are, that don't. This bedroom doesn't work at all. There's no, no electricity. electricity. There is no electricity in that bedroom at all. And in this bedroom, there's one working outlet, 
and we have to run extension cords if we want to run more than you know like a lamp or we have to run the heater because there's no heat <laughs> yeah <laughs> well let me just say this dude we're just recording this because shit is shady we're not out to attack anyone so we're just recording this until and and just in case we get attacked because like, when we said hello to Terry, he acted like we didn't exist and we yeah. didn't even acknowledge our presence. Yeah. So that got us thinking, like, what's yeah. going on? Why? Yeah. Why is Terry treating us like he doesn't know yeah. us? So we're we're not like we're not doing this to hurt anyone. We're just, we're really literally just recording this in case we're attacked and we need evidence. So we're just doing this just to protect ourselves, like because. This house is not livable. It's probably it's probably not even legal to rent out. You know what I mean? But so, we didn't mind that because we needed a place to stay. Well, we didn't know. <laughs> we did not know this anyway before we came here. We didn't realize that we were going to be in a house. But when we realized that with no electricity, when we and realized all this stuff, that the electricity was like, not going to be fixed. Yeah. That's when we decided like we cannot stay here anymore, especially yeah. with Elion. We can't stay here like this. Yeah. It's just yeah. not. And I mean, these old wires, like, dude, they're, it's not even legal to re. Like, you can put a new breaker box on a house, and it's not even really legal to hook the old wires up to the breaker box because they're a huge fire hazard. You know, and then when you have extension cords run through your house, that's another fire hazard. This one doesn't work. You know. Yeah. And there's, you know, there is one plug here that works in this bedroom. But. And we usually have a lamp and a heater on in that bedroom. And we all sleep in there just because it's the only bedroom with electricity. Yeah. And so we just want everybody to know we're not like, this is just for us just to cover our butts just we're not out to like attack anyone man but but this experience like it's we like stuff like this where you can stick your finger through the through the floor oh it, and this i mean that like goes if i went under there yeah, and shine goes, a flashlight yeah that you, like, you would see the flashlight like you would yeah. see it shine it, there it's yeah there's right, no insulation you can that's see the all, floor that's all it is is this old wood like it is freezing in this house during the winter like this winter we have frozen our nuts off that's why we have blankets in all the doorways like we have yeah. a blanket in this doorway to hold heat in here and I mean, we and we literally this this winter we literally lived in the kitchen. Yeah, I made yeah. candles in the kitchen. Yeah. You did your woodworking yeah. in the kitchen, and because it was so cold, yeah. it was like a refrigerator cold. I mean, cold, yeah. cold. And then we have a blanket in that hallway right here. You know, just to block that way the bedrooms hold heat in the in the you know the bathroom but we hung this in here like dude this it's been it hasn't been easy i don't want to down the whole experience like it's been fun uh, it's been a fun experience but it's been very tough and we're just doing this just in case we're attacked like we did something or like oh you know we just we're just hearing rumors. We've heard rumors that we... We're hearing rumors from everyone except for the person. Mm -hmm. Like, we're hearing about all the problems that someone has, but we're not hearing the problems from that person. We're hearing it from everyone else. Including... Never mind. And we don't like that shit. We don't, we don't like hearing problems. We don't like funny business. Me and Holly... If there weren't problems, why would Terry... Yeah, Act like that. If there weren't problems, dude. Me and Holly, I know we're freaking crazy, and we're we're like rednecks or whatever, and we're just like whatever. But we're still very, very honest people. If we have a problem with someone, we actually go to them and talk to them about it. It's about character and honesty, and we do have character. We got our our redneck ass character, and we are very honest people. So just. And we go and we have big hearts and we care, dude. We go way out of our way to help people. Like when we came here, the first thing we did was help Ellie 
and helped her start her YouTube business and blew her up. And usually when you are collaborating with other YouTubers, you usually collaborate with other YouTubers that have the same amount or, yeah. you know, approximately yeah. the same amount of subscribers so that yeah. you can get their subscribers yeah. and they can get your subscribers. But instead, we basically started her a business, which is pretty much why she wanted us to come here. And, and then, I don't feel like she appreciates that. And did, she don't appreciate it. And she moved us into this house that she wasn't fully honest about. And I kind of told her that I was going to try to fix it, which I You're did not try. An electrician, though. I did try to fix it, but you can't you can't gut a house while you're living in it. Like these wires. All these wires are coming from the attic, then from the attic they're going down under the house and they're going over there to the breaker box. Dude, I can't gut walls. Okay, so, so I Holly's got... going to read a couple messages that we've gotten from we're gonna keep them their names on the low we're not gonna shout them out no um these people have come to me in uh i mean it's a private conversation and they do not want to be singled out this the, the island is hard to live on for for a lot of people and this person in particular let me know exactly how it is for him living on the island he said, I'm sorry about what happened to you, but I am so glad that you did that video. I have always wanted someone to do a video about the real Smith Island. These people are a bunch of backstabbing. We like you when you can do something for them or money. And that is why I keep to myself. Screw them. I hope everything will be better for you. He does curse a lot so i'm not gonna repeat that part of it uh he called a lot of them christian hypocrites he said to stay safe and be thankful that this is a very hard place to live in and no matter what you do for people here they want more and more and when you stand up for yourself and stop giving or helping in the end of the at the end of the day that's when people turn on you thank god you got away from the people of this island they're a bunch of nuts and you should do an in-depth video about this place and I would be the first person to thumbs that up. I hope things go good for you. Take care and I'm sorry that this happened to you. So this is, um, this is someone who lives on, on and has. Smith, yes, lives on Smith Island and has for a long time and he wishes that he had a voice to be able to do this but the backlash as you can see is terrible when you when you try to be honest yeah about I mean, smith island look look at the video we made it was a very simple straight to the point video we basically just showed what we went through getting our stuff off the island and we did not put anyone down we did not get personal about anyone no, we, didn't we didn't get mad and we didn't cry we didn't get mad we didn't we just we, we we're just put to the point, pretty much like, hey, this is what happening. This is what's happening. We I'm got done hand wrong. trucking my shit to someone else's boat. <laughs> we got and, done wrong, but we didn't shed waterfalls over it. Yeah, you know. So. And then now that we've done that video, now that we now we are being seriously attacked personally and like everything. So it, sh it shows the true colors, you know because we didn't do the video to really start a bunch of drama. We're, we're honest in every details of our lives. We've always been honest yeah. with our lives. We've always shown you the good and the bad. We've shown, we've shown every aspect of our life that we could possibly show. And I think that some people just don't know how to take the truth. Yeah. And what happened to us was the truth, but now, now I've come to find out that I have a rap sheet a mile long. Well, now here comes the lies. Right. Because people like this that, you know, made the response video about us, now it's full of freaking lies. All of it. And now we're going to sit here and we're going to hash it out. We're going to show you that it's lies. That, right. every, that everything's a lie. Yeah. That she's saying. And so uh, this is from another Smith Islander. And she is someone that we 
have grown very fond of and she said that my heart hurts for how you guys were treated while you were here I am not trusting nor am I liking Ellie more and more each day and the more that I hear about what she's done and the things that she's saying about you makes me like her less and less um, like I said, not many people trust or like Ellie, no matter what she thinks. And she won't say much about me for two reasons. She basically told me once that I have a big mouth. And second, I'll tell her straight up how it is. You guys got the shit end of the stick. And um, for that to come from someone that lives in Yule and someone that knows Ellie and Terry personally, I do appreciate that they saw good in us and that they do see that we weren't, we weren't treated right. And that's, that's simple. It's simple. If you're, if you're friends with someone, you don't, you don't turn your backs on them just because they happen to ride someone else's boat. But that's here nor there. Um, this one, this one is from um, a man who feels like he is an outsider living on Smith Island, and he has stayed in touch with us basically the entire time that we were there, and the the two months that we left because we couldn't take it anymore. He stayed in touch with us, and he's he's a very kind person, and I'm I'm so sad to hear the story that he has told me about his own personal experience on Smith Island. He said, at first when we moved there, the people were nice and they were very accepting and I felt like we really had good friends. Um, but then something happened. We did something that made them not like us anymore. I, I don't even, I can't even tell you what it was, but our friends are no longer our friends. And he said, um, I'm so sad that it ended this way. I hope that you and your family find a happy place to live. Welcome to Smith Island, LOL. We have lived in Yule for over, I'm not even gonna say how many years because I think that might tie someone or that might make someone figure out who this is, but it's quite a while. He said, we've been living in Yule for over a, a long, a lot of years and I don't think that we will ever <coughs> really be accepted by any of the people there it feels very lonely and that's sad yeah. it's sad that such a small island can be so judgmental towards the people I'd be who getting, are trying to I'd be getting F up out of there just like we did yeah heck with that and it's 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 sad and that's I mean if that's the way the island works then I'm very glad that it didn't work out for us I just want to let it go that that is honestly what I, I choose I choose happiness I choose to move on I would actually love to focus on our PO box opening because quite a few people have reminded us that we do have gifts that they would like for us to open we and do want to do are that the people soon that i want to focus on and that's what we want to do too we just want to be happy and just have some fun and make fun videos we really do but you know us man we just share our lives and sometimes it just takes a turn for the worst and we share it you know right but on um, one thing that i heard ellie said on her video is that i threatened her and I want to say <laughs> that every time I've ever been around Ellie, she was talking about someone else. Yeah. And so, which lets me know, anytime you're around someone that's always talking about other people, you can bet your ass that when she's talking to other people, she's talking to them about you. Yeah. Okay, so here, Holly. This is from <laughs> Ellie. And this is what she's talking about. Oops. This is the threat where I threatened her. Because, dude, we were just sick of being in that house. We couldn't wait to get out of that house. It was freezing. No electricity. The yeah, whole we... island is just wet. 
all you hear is just people talking about other people and dude it was just bringing us down you seen that we pretty much stopped making videos dude it was bringing us down so bad that we were just we we planned on leaving for like a week and we ended up staying gone for two months yeah. so we're paying ellie money on top of paying living in a motel so but anyway oh and holly's gonna show some proof <laughs> that we paid ellie yes. just because that's another lie she's trying to say we never paid her and that we owe her all this money and back rent so we're going to show it's you so that it's so dumb too. to lie about something that can be proven yeah. wrong i mean yeah. that's just stupid yeah and we know it's no one's business blah 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 but hey we want to prove it just because we can yeah. so all right so let me read my message to ellie so i've heard comments from a couple people now saying that yeah, you are yeah, yeah. That we are not paying you rent and that we have lived there for free. Well, we are paying $1,200 a month where we are now. And we still plan to pay you a couple more months of rent for our stuff being there. When you invited us there, basically begged us to come there when I was telling you and Holly that it would not work because our YouTube would basically go to shit. And it did. <laughs> You told us <clears throat> we could stay there for a few months and chill because we were going through stuff. Then it turned into two months when you started pressing us to pay rent. Fixing the electric was not mentioned as part of the deal. Me trying to fix the electric was just me trying to help. And I did work with Darren for a full day helping him while he was getting paid. We had no idea that it was going to cost us so much money to heat that house and that it would be without electricity during the winter. And I can't tear out walls in a house that we are paying rent living in to replace wires. And basically what happened, what happened with Darren is we were running an electric heater, I guess in the living room, and the, uh, the fuse trip triggered the fuse or whatever trip trip, trip the fuse <laughs> yeah it tripped one of the breakers so i went out to turn the breaker back on and i lifted the panel the metal panel the door mm -hmm. to the breaker box and it showered me with sparks and caught on fire <laughs> So I ran over. I wish we'd have got that on camera. Yeah, so I ran over. I pulled the meter out of the wall just to cut the electric to the box so the fire would freaking go out. So then I hit up Darren like, dude, it's an emergency, man. But anyway, Darren replaced the fuse box, which basically once he put a brand new fuse box in, and I have to say the man did a very good quality job like yeah. he knows what he's doing i can't yeah. i can't hate on him about that shit because he's he's the electrical man he did a good job he did a great job um more of a better job than i expected i could put it that way but I, what he couldn't control some shit job but <laughs> but he put a brand new breaker box in but he can't replace all the wires you know what i mean and all the wires him and uh robert were like dude we can't hook those ancient wires Burnt back up, up ancient because wires. they're a fire hazard. So that eliminated, well, even though most of them weren't working to begin with, um, it just took out the few that were working, yeah. cut those off. Yeah. So now after we have a new fuse box, we basically have two outlets in the whole house that work. The refrigerator work. Luckily, the water heater worked. Luckily, the oven worked because luckily that's how oven, we got heat. Yeah, luckily the oven worked in the refrigerator. Um, we lost all the kitchen lights. We lost the living room lights. Yep. And we basically had two outlets in the whole house that worked. I want to say, if you have feelings or things to say about the situation, you should probably keep it between us and stop making us look like we are not keeping up our end of the deal, especially to our daughter. Yeah. We have you a lot of publicity and help you start your YouTube business get started. It took us years to get your to get where yours got overnight because of us. Mm -hmm. Do you remember our mukbang taking out the dirty laundry? 
if we keep getting comments from people talking about our stuff being thrown outside and making Holly upset, I'm going to do another mukbang. <laughs> we are supposed to be friends, so you might want to stop talking behind our backs, Ellie, because that's what Ellie is very, very And that's very what she construed as a, th as a threat? That's what she took as a threat, because I told her I was about to mukbang her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants their ass get mukbanged. <laughs> That's a bang and you never want. <laughs> okay, so before I let Holly do more talking, now I want to show you the last message I sent Terry. This is the last message I sent Terry, and as you can see, he's a cur and never responded. But, he accepted my damn... $200 bird mansion I gave him. He'll accept that, but he ain't man enough to respond to a man-to-man -man conversation. What, what was your message? Would you mind stopping by when you get a chance? I want to give you something that I told you I was eventually going to give you, a birdhouse. <coughs> I also need to know how much it's going to cost to haul my stuff to land. So I'm trying to make a business deal with the man. Like right here. So no, you no asked response. him how much it was going to cost. You didn't say, I want my shit yeah. moved for free. No, I You never said that, right? Yeah, I straight up <laughs> asked him. Like, and this was like the day we got there, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was the same we, day we that we got We never asked there. them to move our stuff for free. Ever. Not once. We never asked them for shit. I never asked anyone on that island for anything free. Ever. We, but that's, that's Terry right there. No response. In my opinion, someone like this that just ignores you and then feeds in rumors and acts like a little bitch is pretty much a little bitch. So, anyway, that's my two points about them. I didn't threaten Ellie. I just told her straight up, like, you keep talking shit, I'm going to mukbang you. And then Terry, obviously, I straight up man to man asked him, like, hey, how much and he he can't even show up because he's and the all fact, butt hurt the, the, but hurt the fact that ellie said that we snuck onto the there was no island. sneaking the second we, we pulled up we seen terry and i'm like hey terry and he puts his head down and acts like he don't even snuck know us. onto the island <laughs> but yeah me and holly don't sneak me, shit we believe don't sneak. me uh before we before we went back we asked i asked I think you asked Darren for Otis's number, and I asked Ellie for Otis's number, and she would and not I give asked, it to us. I asked Ellie too. I sent her a message and asked her too. She would not give it to us. No. I had to get it from other Islanders because Ellie refused to give me Otis's number. So she knew that we were coming. She knew that we were coming to collect our stuff. She even asked us, uh, you know, please don't use Otis's boat. You know, we'll work something out with Terry. <coughs> so. When we when we actually got on Otis's boat because Chris owed him money, that trip that, that trip wasn't even a business deal. That was just us taking a boat because we owed him money, and that's the kind of people that we are. We make right. Yeah, I'm if not gonna go give him money, his ten dollars and then be like, okay, I'm out. going to get on Terry's boat. Like, no, I got on the man's boat and paid him his money. You know. So to say that we snuck onto the island, Ellie, absolutely, we did not sneak onto any island, and we actually did ask you for Otis's especially number. Especially when refused to give us. Especially when it was an hour later, we're hearing rumors already about how upset yeah. you know they are, like that we took Otis's boat. Like, really, man? Really? Yeah. But we brought money to pay Terry to get all of our stuff off the island, and when Terry would not respond Dude, to our messages, we literally had we used Otis. We literally had plans, me and Holly. We talked what? about it before we went there. We wanted to get a group picture Ooh. together with people, yeah. and like we wanted to really make our leaving a fun thing. I even messaged. A lady Maddie on the island and asked her if she had a grill I really wanted to take some meat back because I haven't cooked out on the grill and we forever. had some really we had you some know. happy plans for yeah our we really did want to have like a party and just have fun and get some pictures and really make a fun video and then we ended up just basically hey by ourselves moving stuff yeah. it's like depressed and unhappy like what the heck you know. So, so the 
I just want to wrap it up by saying we are not going to respond to any other further videos that anyone makes or says or comments. We're just, we yeah. choose happiness. We, we are don't... not going to live in this dreary world with, I mean, my gosh, we all have to think about surviving one day. You know, one day is like, oh my God, I'm so grateful that I survived the coronavirus. You know, I'm so grateful to be alive. You know, there's so many other important issues going on in this world and our rights are being violated. Martial law is about to happen and we're, we're fighting each other about a boat. <laughs> That's, it's, it's just, it's not going to happen. Not in my life well, that is, anymore. That was one thing that was really pressuring me to get our stuff off that island. I was telling Holly, like, dude, if martial law and shit goes down, oh, we're I, not I gonna do, get stuck on I Smith do not island want to be people. stranded on no island with a bunch of rumors and all this oh shit. Oh my gosh. And backstabbing and... I just read you, you three know. messages from three people who live on that island telling us that they wish us the best and yeah. they they wish that they weren't in that situation. They, they're stuck there. And that's sad. You can have an island that small, and, and you guys don't have the camaraderie, the friship, yeah. the bonds. Yeah, what if shit what does hit the fan? What are all these people? Eat each other. Yeah, what are all these people going to do? <laughs> they're they're going to eat each other. Just, why live on a little island like that where you secretly hate everyone? Oh, God. You know? Like, man. Be friendly. I would rather I would rather be living in Show the woods. Love. I would rather have a shelter in the woods wiping my ass with leaves yep. and eating tree squirrels. bark. You know, and squirrels. <laughs> yeah. If I have any shotgun shells <laughs> left. But I choose happiness. Yeah, we I'm just want on. we just want to laugh and joke around and Maybe, maybe know. offend some people. If we're all gonna know, get thrown but... into FEMA camps in the end, you know, we gotta let uh, our petty shit go, man. Yeah. But let it go. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>